Welcome. Today, we're going to learn how to sync with your hormone cycle to start reducing cravings and start managing your symptoms. So whether if you're in menopause, postmenopause, or not even in menopause yet, today, we're just going to learn about hormones as a whole and start to really learn to manage those symptoms. I, I do have to share with you my experience with this. I remember that I was having, whether it's cramps or mood swings or irritability or all these different side effects. And I just thought, wow, this must just be the way that it is being a woman. And um, I had a good friend uh, named Cindy that shared with me about this girl, Laura, that went through her own tragic history with her hormones and going from doctor to doctor to doctor to try to discover like really how she can learn to balance her hormones better. And what she ended up doing was creating a guide for all of us women to be able to essentially learn how to control and manage our symptoms so much better than what we are. And it, it what I really love that we're going to go into today is learning about what the the mind is going through, what the body is going through, and how we can change our food focus or maybe just learning different stress techniques that can really start to help manage these symptoms, which is phenomenal, you guys. It's helped me tremendously. So now when I have cravings, I understand why. Now when I have cramps, I understand why. And I have the control to now fix these things and work around these things, and it's just, it's so awesome. So I'm really excited to go over this with you today. So um, first we're gonna go over the cycle syncing. So if you're currently on a period or something like this, but also if you're even on menopause, these all relate to you as well because we still go through these cycles. And it's just, it's about hormones, which is awesome. So this one here is four phases of our cycle. And this is what we go through a month of just that 28 day cycle. And um, the, if you don't know, well, now you know, and maybe this is new information, but every time I read this, you guys, I always get something new information that helps me balance my hormones, my cravings, and just in general, everything. So um, the four phases is the follicular, which is right after the menstrual cycle, and it's that new fresh start, right? Then we have the ovulation. This is the time that we feel most vibrant, the most confident about ourselves. That's that phase. The next is the luteal. This is one of my hardest, hardest phases for me. This is right before the period, and it really, really is like that moody, that irritability time, and I've learned to really understand what that means now. And then the menstrual cycle, which we all know. And this also, also so as you are even in menopause, you can hear some of the different things too, as far as um, what our mind and stuff is going through. So this one's really interesting. Um, it's about really what our brain is going through. It's waking up from obviously the situation we were experiencing with menopause or sorry, menstruation. And um, it's really about moving forward. Uh, what I like about it says it's coming out of your super analytical mode. So your mind is ready to take action and start planning on those big dreams that you haven't really been able to have those last couple of weeks that you were in it. So it just talks about like your, what your body, what your food focus should be. It talks a lot about being able to like jump onto those smoothies, those raw salads and loads of uh, the probiotic kimchi. Now, what I like about this is it teaches us a little bit about when to have like the cold and raw foods versus those warm foods, which we're going to read in just a moment. So this is the stage where having just general food and is great and kind of give you some ideas on help with those symptoms. What I also like is it talks about your energy is a little bit low during this time. So it says being able to get into your B vitamins and oftentimes B vitamins are not easily absorbed through the body. So there is some more information on B vitamins on which ones are more absorbent and which ones aren't. So we can go into that a little bit later. But um, this helps you get the stress and get your energy up a little bit more. The next one is the ovulation phase. Now we don't have to go much into this one because it's just our absolute favorite phase for all of us. This is where we just feel that everything's on point, whether it's communication, we just feel our hair is working good that day. We're a little bit rosy. We've got that like glow. Everyone, everything just seems to be perfect. And usually this type of phase for us, our mind feels very balanced. Our life feels very balanced. Everything feels a little bit better here. Um, the next one I want to really go into a lot more for you guys is the luteal phase. So this is when you're starting to get that irritability and that irrational time right before your cycle. Your brain, this is so, I love this part. It says your mind begins to realign your right and your left brain hemispheres, making your analytical and creative sides collide. Doesn't that make sense? A swar I always would tell like my partner, I'm like, I just want to like hit you, but love you at the same time. And he's like, what? This explains why, why we're having that collision with the, both of those hemispheres. 
So it can lead to the irritability, the overwhelm, and the feelings of not good enough towards self and others. This is where we find ourselves more judgmental or critical how we look and areas that we want to improve in our life or our relationships. So um, what I really think this is, I'm gonna make sure that I really slow down on this part right here. Acknowledge your needs and articulate them. Say yes to what you truly desire. Say no to what doesn't serve you. Clean your space, dirt and clutter may be more agitating at this time. Okay, so that was extremely profound for me because I find that the next week is going to be very crucial about if you did those things right there. If I have not been setting my boundaries, if I haven't been articulating my needs, if I haven't been standing up for myself, that is when this next week gets really difficult. So that is something I've really loved and take, took away from this particular part. The next one is talking about our body. It's shifting and been about ready to go into our period and our body becomes less resilient to stress, right? <laughs> I felt that. Um, so what may have bothered you last week may be extremely irritating this phase. And especially when we're stressed out, it's just going to be amplifying it. So ways to help with this, you guys, this is very important. Sweat it out. So if we have the extra estrogen in our body, it creates more of these enhanced emotions, especially if you're in menopause, why we have hot flashes. We learned too that extra estrogen is really going to create an off balance with things. Um, so cardio can also help with this. And also um, acupuncture is a great one for this. Food focus. So notice down here on number two, it says eating warmed foods such as like soups, raw vegetables, or even um, spices that is like turmeric, cinnamon, and ginger actually allows and prepares your body to help menstruate and creates less cramps. Huge. What I also like is it talks about reducing maybe your caffeine or uh, sugar intake can also help reduce your, your cramps. So try it. I want you guys to test it yourself, but for me, it has worked absolute miracles learning like what my body's actually trying to tell me and me being in harmony with my body rather than that disharmony. The next one, obviously the menstrual phase, this is really important to kind of always read through and just um, get some good information out of here. But it just says it's, if you haven't take action on your true heart desires this past month, you are more likely to be exhausted and extremely irritable this week. And the same goes if you don't take the breaks that you need mentally, physically, and emotionally. So physically writing will actually connect your head and your heart. So setting a timer for 10 minutes and just flow writing out your thoughts, what your boundaries need to be, how can you be more true to yourself? Those actually do help you guys with that irritable and that um, contention you kind of feel inside. Um, the next one, this is so important and we're going to go into this. We talked about, I told you I was going to talk about cravings you, this week before and during your period, your body uses 80% of the nutrients you eat all month long. Makes sense. Now it starts to make sense why we're craving the chocolate right before our period or why we're going after those salty or sugary or whatever, right? So pay close attention to your food choices and know any cravings. This is some good insight of what the nutrient your body truly needs. So I'm going to share with you this fascinating thing that's really allowed me to take control over my cravings, you guys. So if you're craving chocolate, you actually are deficient in magnesium and where you can get more magnesium is through nuts, seeds, vegetables, and fruit. So going through this guide and looking at whatever it is that you're craving, having that understanding is going to create so much more awareness for you to be able to control it. And what I really like to do is instead of thinking of going from chocolate to broccoli, not going to work for you or I. So looking at ways to balance it. So instead of just a raw thing of chocolate and just eating a bunch of that, which I did, I now balance it out with maybe some yogurt, nuts and seeds with some berries and add some chocolate on top. And that my friends has been the way that we can live in progression over perfection and start to find more of that control and balance and that harmony with our body. I haven't had cravings now, in my opinion, of like a lack of like control of cravings for at least now several years. And it's been really awesome to be able to be in that harmony. So excited to share that with you. Here's all some other ideas too um, of learning how to balance, whether it's breakfast, snacks, lunch, or dinner ideas. So um, this is a protein shake that you can balance that out. It, um, I heard um, it from a friend too, that if you add like zucchini or cauliflower, those items actually take on the other flavor of like the fruit or something else that actually you won't even taste those items. And it, cool, it makes it kind of like a cool like ice cream consistency too when it's frozen. Quick oats, I do this all the time, my friends, all the time. It's super easy when you do the quick oats idea, adding a bunch of those toppings and all you have to do is add hot water to it, 
and you're out the door. You don't have to cook anything. It's amazing. Avocado toast or snack ideas, whether it's like protein bar, yogurt melodies, grab and goes. I had girls right now that are just doing like turkey roll ups with cheese. Awesome. Any ways that you can start getting in that protein and balancing it out with those whole foods will be able to help reduce those those cravings as well. So going back here to the cycle syncing. Um, so this is a good time to really make sure that that heat is implemented on the outside of your body and the inside to help reduce those cramps and especially even those hormone headaches. A lot of you sometimes have been mentioning those and it helps being able to reduce those symptoms. Um, and then there's some other ideas in here to help um, rebalance out those nutrients that we lose. Pretty interesting, right? So next um, we're going to go into mastering menopause. So I have so many of you are like, oh my gosh, this all these symptoms and side effects or the sleep or all the struggles that you're facing, how cool is it just to understand what goes on? So we have anything from whether it's weight gain to vaginal dryness, to dry skin, mood swings, insomnia, all sorts of all sorts of things that we'll, we'll have. And everybody's a little bit different. So I want you just to take maybe one thing from this. Um, and it's really important for us younger girls that are going, getting older, this is gonna hit us too. So it's good just to kind of know what's coming up ahead so that we can be, we can be proactive about it. So this is a great about talking about the brain, about what it's going through during this cycle. So these hormone levels that go into decline, it can create those mood swings, those temper tantrums, the depression, the surprising highs and lows. And it, sometimes it just doesn't make sense. And so what I've really found is that when we reduce our stress, it says 30% can actually decrease our symptoms such as hot flashes and the tension and the anxiety and the depression. So a couple techniques, and we do this in one-on-one, -on -one, is going into what's called easy world. Being able to just, if meditation is hard, I did make a... Uh, meditation guide in the app that you guys can find. It says, if meditation's hard, try this. And it goes into words that we say and then we feel and then and then we allow ourselves to switch our nervous system within just five seconds can be that simple. Um, but being able to really reduce stress is going to actually have a very impact, um, huge into these symptoms that you're going through. The next one is breath. Um, I have actually heard from women um, that have seen this guide and I've walked through and individually work with that breath has substantially helped them in their in their results and in their progress. And there is one um, in particular that I'll show you in just a moment that you can do a technique that you can do for breath. The next is sleep. Um, it can really obviously agitate things to make it even worse because sleep also is helps balance the hormones. So if we're not sleeping, da -da -da, so it can all have that co-effect. Stress also affects sleep. So I have a lot of people be like, I'm just not getting sleep and they're trying all these pills and supplements when it really just comes down to balancing that stress in their life too. So here's some solutions on things to avoid or things to add, um, whether it's avoiding the caffeine and spicy foods as much as possible, or especially just right before bed, taking things like herbal tea, such as passion flower, chamomile teas, 45 minutes before bedtime can actually induce a deeper sleep that can help. Adding relaxation about 20 to 30 minutes before bed. So this is something that I've been doing, you guys. It's been shutting off my electronics about 20, 30 minutes before bed has been a lifesaver for me, truly. I feel that when I'm looking at my screen and then I just go to bed, for whatever reason, that blue light is really just keeping me up. So hopefully that helps. Um, going into your body now, this is pretty interesting. It talks about um, how exercise actually does help reduce symptoms of menopause. Um, and actually helps with hot flashes and things like this. So um, when we work out, we are also inducing, I actually heard this fact, it was pretty cool. It said, as women, we need to be sharing with other women that we're losing on average three to five at the minimum of our muscle mass every single decade. So we're deteriorating every single year if we're not using that resistance training or putting that protein in our body to build back that lean muscle. So we don't think that we're losing that muscle mass. We don't eat the extra protein or get those extra workouts in because we think we already have it on us. But no, in fact, that's a fact that we're losing it. And so it actually helps women to be actually reversing aging weight gain by building back that lean muscle. It's so, so important. And it also, that consistency and that momentum and that movement helps you sleep better, which can help balance out those hormones, which creates less symptoms. So generally as a whole, you're seeing a very holistic approach to being able to really manage your, manage these things a lot better. Um, next talks about dry vagina. So if you have any of those things, it talks about um, how, um, 
being able to use unscented things, whether it's um, lubricants or moisturizers or tissues or um, even toilet paper, just trying to get away from that unscented, even like the actual chemicals we use in our washer and dryer and things like that can also help. Um, so next is um, hot flashes. Now, if you don't struggle with this, great. If you do, here are some really cool things that can help. There's a pop of peppermint in your mouth when you are feeling it because the compound called TRPM8 in the candies menthol actually can send signal to your brain telling your body that it's colder than it actually is. So it can reduce severity, your, your hot flashes. So if I were you and you're experiencing hot flashes, grab some peppermints and put those in your purse. So when you're experiencing it, you can just toss that in your mouth. Okay, I told you about the breathing technique. This is inhaling your nose for four seconds. Hold for seven. and then exhale for eight, out your mouth. It's called the 478, and I have a woman doing it, and she swears by it. It's been really cool to hear how it's been actually really helping with her hot flashes and decreasing the body's core temperature. Um, next is obviously there's a, they've got those snap cloths. I don't know if you've seen those, but those are really awesome and convenient too. The other ones I have women swear by this as well. That's dabbing eucalyptus on pulse points, such as the wrist, neck can actually help reduce the, the, uh, hot flash as well as lavender rolls is a, an aromatherapy that it says actually by 53% can help ease stress and activate your brain's temperature control center. Pretty fascinating, huh? So a lot of holistic ways that we can look at it instead of going into the supplement route, um, that can be like a last resort, but looking at all these other areas that we can do. Um, so natural ho um, hormone remedies can also be great too. And then of course, just your extra vitamins, because we are, uh, you know, there's often times that we're having vitamins, but if they're not easily absorbed, then we can be into that vitamin deficiency. And we know that that creates the cravings. So again, going back into making sure that you're really getting in those vitamins. And there are some ideas on here as far as the ones we are really low in as far as women, especially during this time. So iron, vitamin D, vitamin K2, BK7, calcium, magnesium, and really staying hydrated is very important. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, I just wanted to share with you what has really helped me and what is really helping other women being able to really start to manage it. So all I want you to do is take one thing away from today's call and just implementing it so that your cycle or menopause is so much more manageable and let me know what it is. So if you're ever interested in working one-on-one -on -one with a coach to be able to really fast track your results and start seeing that faster goals that you're trying to obtain, go ahead and just comment I'm in down below and we'll have a coach reach out and jump on a call with you and see if you're a good fit, see what your goals are and see how we can fast track your results so much faster. So let's get started. So I have really never stuck with anything for more than six months until I found Booty Bands Barbell. It's life-changing. The progress over perfection mindset has been so life-changing. Have self-love and to have self-worth. I just do the 10 minutes and I'm already reaping the benefits. The workouts are fun and that they're effective. I have seen great results that I never thought I'd ever see. I love it because I'm keeping the weight off. We help hold each other accountable as they commit to our goals. Booty Bands and Barbells has really changed my life for the better. I have to be real with you. The past Last six months really took a toll on me and my body. I felt incredibly stressed, isolated. After being a good 12 to 13 pounds heavier, I said that's it, I'm gonna make healthy choices. And I'm happy to tell you today that I am actually down 15 pounds. I feel amazing. I feel like I lost fat and put on muscle. I have a lot more energy. So it's never too late to start. You can take control again. Thanks, Booty Band Nation.